if we look to this problem here, read the problem carefully, and I need you to know what is given. And after that, what he is looking for. If we understand the given information very quick, and sometimes we do have a problem. What we don't know what does he mean by this? What does he want? But if we understand given, and after that, what he is looking for to find what? In this case, the solution will come so easy. So what is given here, he told you, calculate the volume of concrete needed for the footing shown this here. If the length of the footing is given and consider waste. So he told you there is a footing here. This footing is, I will color it for you. Here it is, the concrete footing. I believe in coloring. I believe in writing notes. This is a footing that he's looking for. This footing is has a length. This length extends this way. For how long? L is equal 410 feet. And he's asking what is the volume taken into consideration 7% waste. If the waste is not given in the problem statement, we take the waste to be zero. Don't assume the waste. The waste could be five, it could be seven, it could be 10. If he did not mention anything about the percentage of the waste, we take it zero. Don't assume it because it varies from one job to another, from material to another. So we cannot, we don't have a standard. We don't have say, oh, 10% is a standard. No, so there's no such thing, okay? We, that's rounding, yes, that's correct, but a percentage of the waste and you round up is still is rounding up. So the percentage is different from rounding. Okay, percentage, if it's not given in the problem statement, you will take it zero. And after that rounding, round, the nearest cubic yard, the nearest cubic feet, yes. But if you have a, a, a waste, you have to consider the waste. And after that round, as we're going to see in just a minute. Okay, so if I have. Forgive me. So if I have, I will answer you, my friend. If I have 1,000 cubic yard required for a job based on my volume competitions, and if I have 10% waste, I'm asking you right now, I calculate my volume for the footing or for whatever construction job I have, I calculated the exact volume I need to be in place is 1,000 cubic yard. But I said, okay, I'm expecting some waste and decided to go with the 10% waste. How many cubic yards I need to require from the concrete supplier? How many? This is what I need you to calculate for me. 1,100 cubic yard. So this is order or to be ordered ordered okay from the supplier supplier waste you may say that i need 1000 cubic yard multiplied by one a plus the waste percent so this is a volume so it is 1000 times one a plus the 10 percent this will give you a number and another engineer said, no, I'm not going to do it this way. I need the volume is equal 1,000 cubic yard divided by 1 minus the waste percent, which is 1,000 cubic yard divided by 1 minus 10%. What number I'm going to get here, by the way? Can you do this for me, please? This by adding 1 plus, and this is I divide by 1 minus. How much is this number here? 0.11 cubic yard. 1,000. 
111.11. Here, I got 1,100 cubic yard. So I have two numbers. Which number is correct? Or which is the right way of calculating the waste? Shall I multiply it by one plus or divide by one minus? Which one is correct? This is the correct one. This is not the correct one. That means that because here, you are adding another 10% of the waste of the 10 percentage, which we don't do that. So this is the right way. So if the waste is considered, this is the right way of doing it. If you see something like this, I saw a book like that. No, this is not the right way. This is the NCWES and this is the right way. So, so this is the wrong way to include the waste. Go to the problem. So the volume is equal area time length. Here it is. Volume is equal area time length. No change in the equation that we know from school. And let me grab a question from a friend here. Please uh, remind me if, if, okay. For C, I forgot, okay, to double, okay, for, okay, for the other side. Yes, okay. This is a common mistake, my friend. That's, I'm glad that if we figure our mistakes now, we will do all our best not to repeat the same mistakes okay during the exam because here and here you are relaxed over there under the exam environment you are pressurized by the time or under pressure or you are stressed whatever you like to call it and in this case we need to guarantee our work there by practicing okay you have 570 problems as i said or i don't know how many i added at the beginning but uh, we need to make sure that we do have okay uh, the um, uh, practice and remember our Benjamin Frankel, our leader, if you like to call it, or by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. No, we will pass and I will do all my best to help you. So how can I get the area? This is consists of two pieces, the base and the stem. So I can cut this into two areas like this. So this is area number one, and this is area number two. Here, you need to read the dimensions carefully because they have inches and feet. And this is a very common mistake. That So we need to convert, you see, the 8 inches, I divided by 12. Okay, 6 inches, divided by 12. 10 inches, divided by 12. I get the cross-sectional area. After that, I know the length is given. L is given. Here it is. It is 410. So the volume is equal the cross-sectional area time the length give me this i divided by this you see units always cubic feet will cancel cubic feet what is left is cubic yard so i ended with 51.93 i need to consider the waste which is the one plus the waste percent we ended with 55.93 Five, seven. As our friend said, we round up. I'm not going to order 55.57. We said, okay, I'm going to order 56 cubic yard. And this is what the most nearly, okay, will be. And I select the answer D. They will give you four answers, by the way, on the exam to match our mistakes, or they know what our mistakes will be. So you will get an answer and you most likely are going to get one answer of the four answers because they know where our mistakes and in this case you will find an answer but not necessarily that all the answers okay uh, that are correct or which is true not not all the answer it's only one answer is correct and the other four three answers are uh, has the errors or the mistakes that we do okay 